y'all welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by for another video I want to share what I created for Natasha and she's polite creations here on YouTube Natasha and I are doing a um, Christmas in July swap it'll be non-traditional colors and we're also doing doing one type of cultural project for that project we just um, decided to do like one cultural project um, just something that shows how another country celebrates Christmas so for this swap I use the cozy and bright this is a 12 by 12 from Michaels I've been using this a lot on some of my latest projects that paper in the front is from some bowls that I created using the tutorial by Natalie and she's put some bling on it they're like the gift bowls you can buy in the store I also use this Tim Holtz Sizzix word die I use this six by six and this is bright spirits about use that one then I also use some sheets from this paper studio Christmas basics six by six so one of the first things I created is this little holder this is a die that I got from Aliexpress I just use one of the cutouts here on the top then I use some gold stickles on the little handle it just pops open I just um, glue this little baggie in here and back it with some paper and I just have some resin pieces in there for her that just connects back down I also created her some bows this is one of my favorite bows from my silhouette and this topper I got in a mega Christmas swap from Stephanie and she is crafty girl 2016 I'll link that video down below really love these bows I use some of those iridescent flowers from Michaels in the center and they're on the journaling card I'm also giving her one of these little pop-up gift card holders and this was my last share more project with friends video that I'll link down below it just opens up then you put the gift card in here and I have this little slip of paper to write a note and I'm gonna stick it up top so that's how it looks I'll leave the design information down below as well I also put together a sequence mix and it's in like a lime green a light pink a dark pink and like a clear and I'll just put one of these little bows up top and that's from Tanya who's I dream about Tanya on Instagram she gave me that last year in a swap I put together a little six by six scrapbooking kit and all I did was I created like two little scrapbook pages using paper from the six by six I did this one in silver and just put a matting piece did this one in gold and then I included some stickers and also some the words some enamel dots and some other little flat back pieces I did this little topper just folded over some paper with some washi and that's another bow from Stephanie these are two embellishments that I created using a wine bottle holder and I I think it's from 3D SVG, um, which, is, which is Dream and Tree on YouTube, and also they have a website called 3DSVG.com. I will leave the information down below from where this came from, but I know it is a bottle holder. Um, I didn't use the bottle part, all I did was you know do the embellishment and put it together, paper piece it. I did two of those. I just folded over some paper and just used one of these long strip um, stickers on the top. I got that bow in a swap a couple years ago and I just used a little tag. So there's two of those in here. I did another set of embellishments that I shared in the Christmas and Summer collab with Don H Creates. So I'll link that video down below. These are some tags that I got from AliExpress. These are punch outs from the collection that I'm using. These are some little um, candy embellishments. Those are doodlebug. Some more of my favorite bows with the recollection mint candies in the center. And then these are some little Christmas hats or little elf hats. And that's a die from Allie. And I just um, have some glitter and some little pom poms. I had shared this box that I created on Instagram. I wanted something to put some bows in that I made for her, some of the big present bows. And this is an eight, I think it's eight by four, eight by four and a half. And it's two inches deep. And it has this belly band on it, really chunky. I'll start from the back. Um, little cookie embellishment from Cindy Reed's Crafts. 
There's a little flag embellishment from Lisa who is Happy Crafter. There's a snowflake. I got this pink trim from AliExpress. That's a bow that I got on some packaging and that's one of the Anna Griffin sentiments. I use some of those recollection snowflakes. This coffee cup and the little um, envelope is also from Lisa and so is this rosette. And then this joy little ornament and there's the top of the ornament goes up like that. That's from uh, Tanya. She's I Dream by Tanya. And then on this side that's a little Christmas hat that I got in that swap from Tanya and it has fur. Then there's a um, stocking in the back that's just an ephemera piece from the collection and some more snowflakes. So I love how this turned out. I just wanted to do a really nice belly band for this box. And then on the top of the box I did do some like um, score lines every inch. It's, the lid is really thin. You take the lid off and these are the little bows. This shred I got in some happy mail from Maria Snook. She's Scrapbook Nut 2002. She had sent me some happy mail, belated birthday mail, and these are the little bows that I created using the tutorial from Natalie who has put some bling on it. So it's um, four of the smaller bows and then one of these larger ones in this box for her. For my cultural project, I did an origami gift bag. I did share this in the Christmas and summer collaboration with Don H Creates, and that's how it looks. I did a belly band with this. This is one of the little punch outs from that collection. Another one of my favorite bows, and I just did a belly band. I did follow a tutorial for, the, a tutorial for this, so I will leave it down below. I did reinforce this little flap with Velcro, and then it opens up, and all of this is origami folded, and these are little gift bags. I just um, created some toppers using a die from my stash. I did some envelopes. I have a little glue under there, glue dots for her. And I did some 3x3 three three note cards and I have a stitch square on the inside. On these back ones, I used the full page and created these with the burgundy in the background. The green stitch square on the inside. And then I created two different kinds of envelopes for this one. And this is my little cultural project. It's called an origami gift bag. And like I said, I'll leave the tutorial that I um, use for this down below. These are the additional goodies that I'm sending her. This is a 10 piece cookie cutter set that I got at Michael's Clarence last year. Also have some of these stickers. There's some of these vanilla cream Werther's candies. Some of these little Christmas tree stickers. This is um, a gift. I did share this in my Amazon haul. This is a Kokeshi doll. It's supposed to be an ornament, but it's a wood Japanese Kokeshi doll that I wanted to give her to go along with the origami box. I'll also be sending her a pack of these little stickers right here, and I found these at Home Goods last year. I have this stamp right here from Spellbinders. I did share that in my recent haul also have one of these little 6x6 Fun Stamper Journey um, Christmas paper pads and that's also Spellbinders. I found some of these uh, foot tea masks. They're peppermint at Walmart. I shared those in my latest Walmart haul. And then I have a uh, fat quarter with some little baby elephants on it. She did just recently have a little boy if you didn't know so she has a daughter and a son so I found these first baby's first year stickers to send her and then some of these little recollection stickers because she said she did want to do some scrapbooking some of these really cute Dollar Tree stickers this baby die that I got from Aliexpress and then I found this um, colors and shapes bingo at the Dollar Tree that I'm going to send to her daughter. And this really cute little sticker activity book and it's called My Favorite Super Fancy Glam Purse. And it has little stickers and coloring activity pages in it. So I'll be sending that to her daughter. And that's all I have to share in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I will leave all file numbers and links that I mentioned in the video down below as well. So be sure to check out the description box. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.